Hi guys, welcome to Electric Radiators Direct, the home of electric heating. So our last video explained the 2025 gas boiler ban. And if you haven't watched that already, be sure to click the link in the description to check it out before watching today's episode. If you've already seen it, great, you're good to go. In today's video, we'll be looking at the low carbon alternatives to gas central heating, including heat pumps, hydrogen, and of course, electric radiators. But before we get started, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and give the notification bell a ring for more hot industry insights. Let's get into it. Okay, first up, heat pumps. So what are heat pumps anyway? Well, there are two types of heat pumps you should know about, air source and ground source. Air source heat pumps draw the energy from the air outside and they convert it into warmth through a unit that's installed on an outside wall of your house. Ground source heat pumps are pretty similar. The key difference is that warmth is generated by converting solar energy from the ground rather than from the air. They do this through a continuous loop of underground pipework that contains refrigerant fluid, which then heats up, travels to your radiators and warms your home. So are they any good? Well, the UK government certainly thinks so. In fact, they are offering £5,000 through something called the Boiler Upgrade Scheme, which is a grant designed to support heat pump installation. This scheme runs from April 2022 through to 2035, so you have plenty of time to apply if you're eligible. Aside from financial aid, heat pumps are an energy efficient choice, generating three units of heat for every unit of electricity used by the pump. And with heat pumps lowering your greenhouse gas footprint by a whopping 50 to 60%, it's no wonder the government are pushing them as a leading low carbon alternative. Oh, and they can also be used to cool down your home too, making them a versatile choice for both colder and warmer months. Perfect, two birds with one stone. So whilst it's clear that heat pumps have some plus points, it's equally important to consider the drawbacks. Without doubt, the biggest disadvantage of heat pumps is the cost. And whilst there are grants available to cushion the financial hit, upfront installation is going to cost you. If you're wanting an air source heat pump, you're looking at 9,000 to 11,000 pounds, depending on the size of your property. For ground source heat pumps, you're looking at around 14 to 35,000 pounds due to the mammoth task of installation. Now, whether this is affordable for you completely depends on your individual circumstances, of course, but I'm sure you'll agree that these costs are substantial. And on the subject of cost, it is also worth noting that you may not see a noticeable drop in your energy bills unless your house is really well insulated. This is because heat pumps can't generate as much heat as other solutions out there so they might need more energy to maintain levels of comfort. Other downsides include a disruptive insulation process and potential noise from the fan and the compressor. All things to consider before making your final decision. Right, so that's heat pumps done and dusted. Let's move on to hydrogen boilers. Now, hydrogen boilers heat the home with both natural gas and pure hydrogen. The huge upside is that there's very little difference between a gas boiler and a hydrogen one. So you'd barely notice the change and you wouldn't have to fork out on hefty installation costs. Another plus point is that hydrogen is non-toxic compared to most fossil fuels and doesn't produce carbon monoxide or carbon dioxide. So what's the drawback? Well, the main problem is that hydrogen ready boilers are currently unavailable in the UK. Hydrogen is also notoriously difficult to store because it's so light, meaning transportation and storage issues would have to be resolved beforehand. And there's more. Hydrogen is super, super flammable and burns with a near invisible flame. So special safety measures would have to be put into place before you can use hydrogen as a heating system. All in all, there are quite a few obstacles compromising the feasibility of hydrogen boilers, but who knows? Let's see how the research goes. And now last but not least, electric radiators. These heaters generate warmth through convection and radiation, meaning they heat the surrounding air as well as people and surfaces directly. This makes for fast acting effective warmth that is also long lasting. So other than effective warmth, what are the pros? Well, all electric radiators are 100% efficient at point of use. 
which basically means that every watt of energy drawn from the plug socket is converted into usable heat for your home. So you know exactly where your money's going when it comes to energy bills. You can even pair them with a renewable energy source or supplier to make them completely green and clean. Electric radiators also come with no risk of carbon monoxide leaks, making them incredibly low maintenance and safe. Better yet, there are plenty of DIY friendly options to choose from, which help save money and time on installation costs. A real bonus compared to the hassle of fitting a heat pump. And the good stuff doesn't end there. Electric radiators are equipped with precise digital thermostats for accurate temperature control. And they're also kitted out with intuitive energy saving features like 24 seven programming and open window detection. Another massive USP of electric radiators is you can control them on an individual basis, setting up different temperatures and heat schedules for each room in the house. So you never have to waste money warming rooms that aren't in use. Talk about complete control. Speaking of control, opt for a smart electric radiator to access Wi-Fi app enabled control and even voice control, making heat management convenient and effortless. As we know, electricity rates are more expensive than gas rates. However, Electric radiators offer sophisticated yet simple control, so you can easily adjust your heating to match your energy budget. It's also worth pointing out that whilst much of the electricity generated from the grid burns fossil fuels, you can make your heating 100% clean by pairing your radiators with a renewable energy source, like solar panels or simply switching to a green energy supplier. And finally, whilst electric radiators are DIY friendly, you may need to hardwire your system to avoid an overload. But don't worry, this is a relatively straightforward job for a professional. So there you have it. We hope this video helps you decide which low carbon alternative is best for your property as we all move towards a greener, gas-free future. Which one will you choose? Leave us a comment letting us know and be sure to like this video, subscribe to our channel and follow us on socials. See you next time.